Nice, bro. Just... Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. Yeah. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. Nice, I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Oh, Au revoir. <laughs> Victoria probably played me. Oops. He totally played her back. I didn't see that though. Bored. HIV and AIDS aren't just initials on a poster. I need it for my acne, God. Hurry, Courtney. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. <laughs> Welcome to Black Hill. <laughs> like right across the thing from what's her face there. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. It will be. Taylor is a slave. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. <laughs> As if. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Young guns training. training. Man, people here are merciless. <laughs> Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Juliet, extreme reporter. Extreme. Another missing poster. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Needs. Be alert on campus. Always be aware of you location. It's supposed to say your. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. All the lonely nerds have rejected you, except the creepy guy who wanted to like sketch you. Toilet paper. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Don't pull the fire alarm. At least that's an alarm from this century. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. <laughs> this is like the public DNA of our dorm. Don't let depression keep you down. <laughs> Meat is still murder. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. No. 
right? Gandhi wasn't really that great of a guy. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? I saved the earth with coconuts. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Except she's kind of a bitch. I mean, the forks. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Cookies! Oh my god. Can I have one? I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. <laughs> it's not exactly pretty and pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? <laughs> it's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. <laughs> she gets so distracted. She's like, yeah, I gotta get this flash drive. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna play this guitar for a while. Okay, we're done. A book. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Just take a look. It's in the book. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. And creeping. Let's water the plant. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. The action will have consequences. Your plant will grow. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Because she just took it. I just jittered. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. It's okay, you can rewind time. My god, she is like the best photographer. Like, aside from freezing time, she's like the best photography thing. She's like, oh hey, I took a picture. Oh, I missed the moment. Just rewind, watch the moment again, get it on. Oops, camera. <laughs> Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera porn. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Open. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. 
That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Our dad's a lumberjack? That was a good hockey game and a great fight. You had a fight or the hockey players had a fight? Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. That thing is terrifying. Let's stop looking at it. Look. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. So cheesy, but... It makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. <laughs> Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Blank slate. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? I'm right uh, here. Why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? I don't know. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So <laughs> how did you find out about them? <laughs> I could have According it, to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Matt. Let's start snooping. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here.
This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Watch, I'm gonna open the door and Victoria's gonna be there. I'll be like, oh, hi. Good thing I can rewind time. Wouldn't it be funny if it didn't like work at some point and then it just... Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Are your clothes still falling apart? Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Pregnancy test. That looks like a home pregnancy test. It really does. You can take it if you want. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. Because that's not going to be dated at all. Let's look at the letter. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might... Oh, wait. There we go. It would be a cool sticker without the words. It could be a cool toilet picture without the words. Cheerleader outfit. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. How does that even work? Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Not. Sure He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. <laughs> The more I text, the longer I take. I'm gonna get in trouble for that thing. I don't really give a shit. Your actions will have consequences. This is the first playthrough, anyways. Tori is gone. Whoa! Fuck this shit. Whoa! Ow! That hurt. Damn! I better rewind. This shit. Ow. Uh. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck this shit. Ow. I just warned her. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. And, you know, property damage. Look at all the property damage I've caused. Look at the window. Now that's what I call instant karma. What? Whose window is that? <laughs> How 
Where did you get my number? So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No, yeah, I'm good with that. <sighs> Stand up to bullies. Report the people with guns. Get shit. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. I can't even read what it says. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry. I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Yo, Max! Check it out! What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Aww. No problem. Shut down. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Yeah. Really? I wish I would've known. You probably could've raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that, Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. I saw it online already. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Ha 
How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh God, you need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth, a student had a gun. No. You told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <sighs> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! That's easy! Nobody! We're in! There's no way I can walk to the town from... What? I... D but... She had a thought. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. Mm. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Cereal? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. <laughs> Not everything changes. 
Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. 